when you think about American Top Team, Conan is a staple legend, founder, coach, everything, American Top Team. With him, Dan Lambert, Richie, the whole team, just outstanding here. And it's interesting because one of his fighters, Josh, he's very close to. <laughs> been all the way back when, way back to the beginning with Josh, but it's just so cool. What is it like seeing your son? He, this, last year he made it to the PFL semifinals. This year now he's in the PFL finals. For the championship, he's going for the million dollars, all of this. Just what has it been like to see it? Because this was something that has built through time. This wasn't a rush job. Let's try to push Josh, push Josh. So what's it been like to see that? Um, it's very important to mention that Josh is born and raised America top team, you know, uh, since from the beginning, you know, from uh, really from before it was America top team. Uh, definitely see him, you know, uh, progressing on the PFL and that was something that was a plan that we did, you know, was a plan for a long time ago. He was even in a high school when we talked about that. So, um, Naples you know, Baron Collier and Cardinal Gibbons High School, yeah, just trying to exactly, say that. Frank exactly. Patinio and Joe, and Coach Joe. Yeah. So, um, um, back then, you know, when he decided that he um, was looking for eventually to get involved with the MMA, um, the only thing then we had a, a, as agreement was that will, will happen when you finish your school. So, that means, you know, um, he went through through uh, college. College, yeah. Yeah, ASU. And right after the next day he got, he graduated, um, I was okay with him to go and train and, and start doing his, you know, MMA career. Uh, he started as an amateur, you know, I, I kept him over there um, because the amateur MMA in Arizona is a little bit different from uh, Florida um, amateur. They do fight MMA there with the only difference is the time. You don't fight five minutes, you fight three minutes. But MMA glows, same exact rules. So it was a good, you know, test for him to see if that's exactly what I want to do. And uh, it's not because he's my son, you know, and being involved since he was a year and a half. He's been in the match since he was a year and a half. But sometimes, you know, um, as a parent, we, 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 we kind of get not kind of get, but we you, you put a lot of influence in our kids. I was, and I am, and always be very careful with that, because I don't want my son to do something because me. He has to do something because him. So, uh, 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 like I said, I was very careful. I was making sure through that time, then he was really happy and and, and feel. Uh, uh, um, Few he identify himself with what I do in life, because you know it's easy when you have a, a father. Then it is a pioneer in MMA, you know, has a team, etc., etc., etc. So I was just making sure that that was exactly what he wants to do for his journey. Um, I'm extremely proud and happy. Then he, you know, he decide his own choice to to do this to become an MMA fighter. Um, Pretty much like I said, the whole thing was a kind of a planning, you know, we, we planned the LFA two titles, fighting and getting and choosing, you know, where we were, what would be the next step for him as a professional fighter. Um, we are very happy with the PFL, definitely. Uh, like you said, um, last year was a most that he got to the semifinals. Um, first year. First year. But, you know, things happen for a reason, you know, as much as we don't like to see like that, and most of the time we don't like to feel like that, but uh, if we try to understand, we, that is a lot of learning on that reason that we don't understand. Um, now we find ourselves on the finals, 2023. Year um, two, exactly. and now he's in the championships. <laughs> Exactly, the finals of uh, PFL, um, and that is just amazing, you know, it is, um, I don't have words to describe how happy, how proud I am, you know, of course as a father, but um, as a coach, you know, and being part of his journey, that is amazing, 
you know, I see a lot of the parents most of the time being part of, you know, take the kids to a swimming lessons, a, you know, judo lessons. I'm not, I'm not, I, I went beyond that. I'm not only take him, I train him. So, and be part of his journey, that's his dream. You know, I, I, I'm, I feel as uh, he invited me to be part of that, but the dream is not mine, that is his dream. You know, and I like to make sure that and that's the way he feels and the way he sees. And that's interesting too, because if Josh would have said, hey dad, I'm gonna do this, let someone else work with me, let us that, you would have, you would have said like, of course, Perfectly. of course. Perfectly, yes, uh, I would have no, no, nothing against, you know, uh, my best interest is to see not only him, but my kids happy. You know, I, I, I believe then the worst thing for a human being having a bad influence from parents is when it comes to being unhappy. You know, I don't believe in the pushing. You know, it's not because I'm a doctor, then my kid has to be a doctor. He can decide whatever he wants to do. Definitely my, my, my authority, my power comes to whatever you decide, I gotta make sure that you're gonna do good. But that's your choice, not mine. And it's interesting too, Conan, because going through that process, did you know right away that Josh goes into MMA, he's going to be very good at this. Or did it take a little while those first couple times in Arizona to see how he was going to do there? Then you knew, yeah, you know, he's going to do good at this. Uh, I, to be honest with you, I fell from the beginning because he always, you know, he always asked to be part of. He always, I was very excited. It was days before when he was, um, you know, like a nine, ten, year, yeah, about nine, ten years old boy. I will tell him, no, nah, we're not going to go do jiu-jitsu today. We're going to go have some fun, you know, with dad and, and, and kids. And they, he will cry and say, no, 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 we can't do that after jiu-jitsu. <laughs> so I kind of play reverse with him, you know, uh, you know a little bit of psychology. But I, just to make sure then what he was feeling, the way he was feeling about for something then was really attracting him and he feel attracted for that, then it was what you want to do, not because me. You know, I, I do believe that, uh, uh, like I said before, a, as much as you know, it is a connection, it is a link, it is a love involved, that is your dream. You know, I want to make sure that you enjoy your journey, not mine. And that's the thing, and he, he is enjoying this journey. Every time I talk to him, he's just, Helping others. A lot of the a lot of the men and women here are helping each other. It's a team, American Top Team. Everybody's helping each other, and it, it's amazing to see that too. He enjoys working with the others. He enjoys fighting. He enjoys this whole process. I'm curious though too, as he's going through that process, did you feel like he could succeed in PFL as fast as he has succeeded? Because it's been two years. Last year he made it to semifinals. This year he made it to the finals. Did you think like, yeah, this is possible for Josh to do this right away? Yes, um, the part of being fast, I don't believe that was fast because it was plain. You know, and you said that we, it was we, a plan. we don't, we nothing that. And Conan, happened. I don't, I have to re reiterate that too, though, because I don't mean fast and like to to do that. I meant right away in PFL. That's the fast part. I mean, I know he's taken a journey to get there. The process has been a journey to get to the PFL and all. Yeah. But it's been two years for him, and he's done so well. That's the only reason I mentioned fast, but I, I know it's taken a while to get there. I believe that the whole conversation, the whole plane happens when I had it with Ed Suarez and when Josh was in high school, you know, years ago, before even he went to college, was then, was my desire, you know, actually, I should say we desire for him to start, you know, in some point in LFA. And when that happened, when that situation and the opportunity shows, showed up, you know, the double champ was a plan. Because, you know, I don't know, like I say, life, you know, brings you to some kind of uh, choices and opportunities that if you grab, you're going to do good. And if you decide not to do it, you're going to do bad. So when he fought, you know, I think it was his third or fourth fight in NFA was they gave him the, the, the chance to fight for the belt, one, uh, a 205 belt. Um, and 
I don't know, you know, uh, I believe the man up there is the one writes the whole thing. So he <laughs> said, you know what, I'm mean, going to leave the 185 vacant so you guys can go for it. And that was exactly what we did. Because our intention was, you know, and um, not that, you know, I think people should do like that, but uh, it's one thing when you become a professional, then you have to look for a job. And you want the other thing was on the job it looks for you. And our intention was for to the job and look for him. So now, you know, as a champion on LFA, that is a very uh, uh, well-known show, promotion, everybody knows, you know, LFA. A lot of the fighters can't come from LFA. Um, we decide not to go to another major division, major promotion, I, I meant. Um, you want to just, you got to go over there. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> We decide not to go to a, a major promotion um, to the time he fought for the second belt. So now as a double champ, you know, people want you in that show. They want you to go and fight for them. So we had a, a, a several uh, uh, um, offers and um, LFA, uh, PFL was the one that we liked the most. No, not because I don't like the other ones. I, I do love, I do like it. I think they are amazing. Yeah, it's there's so many fighters of, here that are different. Exactly. UFC, Bellator, etc. It was just the matter of, uh, you know, give Josh a more experience. Give Josh a more, you know, not rushing. I don't believe then what it makes you to become great is how fast you are. You just, with the consistency that you have. So my thing was have him more consistent, more fighting times and you know the season is really good you know from April to November um, and that was the perfect you know the perfect plan the perfect decision you know um, great choice and we're very happy with them. PFL regular season you know when you're gonna fight then you make it to the semifinals you make it to the finals everything is known November 24th is gonna be the championships Josh is in the championships, really cool. I'm curious, Conan, because I know he's his own fighter. You're your own fighter and all. But do you see any similarities between you and Josh at all? Yes, definitely. Personality or fi and oh, or fighting? 100%. As, um, as, um, he, um, we look like, uh, alike uh, much. I mean, we very, very, I mean, uh, we probably don't look like outside, but uh, inside we look very, very much the same, you know, same thinking process, the same thinking process, mindset, you know, and we speak the same language as, you know, MMA. So it uh, um, becomes um, enjoyable, it becomes very pla plausible to be working together. You know, it doesn't, we don't have that, you know, uh, actually when people think about how it works, you know, father and son working, my man, that's the best thing. You know, we don't need to talk too much. We know exactly what the other one wants and, we, we are very uh, close, you know, as father and son, you know, and a uh, trainer and, and a fighter, so it just makes everything easier. That is so cool. And Conan is his own man, his own fighter. Josh is his own man, his own fighter. The journey, they're doing the journey together. It is Josh's journey, but Conan's involved, which is so cool as well. American Top Team is so great. I'm going to end it with a couple questions here. So last year in PFL, he fights... Magomed, am I right? Almighty. Josh is over here now. Hey, Josh. <laughs> right? And he's American Top Team. So I'm curious. Good fight, good experience for Josh. But are you talking to him afterwards? Are you talking, Magomed, what are you doing? What are you doing? That, that, come on, that's my kid. Come on. <laughs> Actually, you know, um, the way I see, you know, as much of course, you know, I, I wanted my son to win. That is, I mean, I'll be lying to you if you're not. But it's part of the game, you know. Um, I, the way I see is like I see two kids then trying to get that, you know, dream come true, you know. And uh, it is what it is. In the in the fight, you know, as much as he's my kid, you know, I don't fight for him and I don't go in the cage with him. You know, I am everything that I can possibly do outside, but that is his decision. That is his turn. So, um, you know, that happens the way it happened. I kind of. Uh, if you ask me, right, oh, you think that, you feel that why your kid didn't get a million, I think that it was a more valuable as experience for Josh to get more mature, 
about with the whole situation and the reflection of that situation is happening right now. So uh, uh, when I look back, you know, of course, you know, it is a million dollars fight, but sometimes the million dollars really doesn't take you and brings you the maturity that you have to have. You know, you gotta go through that situation, feel the pain, and if you look back and say, oh, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, that never is gonna happen again. So, um, you learn big time exactly. from that and all. It is about a learning situation. And I guess the one positive from that fight last year is they were both American top team fighters. Exactly. So that was good. Yes. <laughs> all right, we'll close it up, wrap it up. I gotta say this, I don't, want, I don't want to look too far ahead. I know everybody's focused, win the PFL championship, that comes with a million dollars. So when that happens, is there anything in mind you want Josh to get you? He's gonna have like a million dollars. He gets that championship. So I'm wondering, Conan, is there, is there something he could, a trip maybe he could send you on? Is there something, maybe some flowers? I don't know, is yeah, something? Um, you, I, I do believe that anything comes as, um, as a consequence, but the main thing for me is to win the fight. You know, um, uh, I- Conan do doesn't need anything. Conan doesn't need anything. He just wants yeah, Josh to get out there and win I mean, the fight. It is a, a satisfaction that comes without, I can't describe the satisfaction because at the end of the day, as much as I know how to separate the coach from the dad, it is my kid. So you want your kid to win, you want your kid to succeed, you want a, everything the best for your kid. So that is exactly, see, see him you know, make his dream come true, it does, I'm good with that. Josh, come in here real quick, come on, get over here. You gotta come down here because we got the chair situation going. Get in here. And I'll get this. I want to get this. Josh, what has it been like, American Top Team, but also your dad and just doing his thing and just supportive and everything and not pushing you? Yeah, you know, um, it's, it's kind of like, um, kind of think of it as like a story, right? Mm -hmm. Like a movie or something. But no, it's this real life. I think it's... Um, I think everything was put in the right place in the past from not just from last season, from... Um, growing up, childhood, um, jiu-jitsu, branching off yeah. to wrestling, going to college. I think everything played the right, the right string, right, in this beautiful song. And uh, now we're here in a moment that um, we get to share together, you know. This is like the biggest moment of my life and I get to share it with my dad, you know. A lot of, a lot of kids do share these moments with their dad, but... Um, not like this type of shit, you know, where he's in the, in, the, in the locker room with me throughout the camp, sees me happy, cry, cranky, sad, you know, good day, bad day, you know, and he's working day in and day out rather than like, my, my mom's by my side as well too. The thing is, she just, she could only go so far with the support, you know, and she does a great job, but it's cool to have this um, relationship um, you know, with, with your dad, let alone, you know, the fighting relationship where you're, you're literally um, in the most glorious sport, in my opinion, throughout mankind. So we're in here and we get to be a world champion and win a million dollars, you know, um, coming from a little jiu-jitsu gym on South Beach. South Beach, little right. corner, in the corner. You know, so it's, it's one of those things where you just, uh, you can't really wrap your head around it. And when somebody asks you, you know, how'd you do it? How, what'd you guys do? I don't even have a formula. You know, it's just one of those things where um, you count your blessings, you know. Um, your past mistakes become the strongest attributes, you know. My dad, he before a coach, he's been through life, you know. So I think just throwing that in the mix, you know. And like he said, we, we just kind of in sync with each other. I know how he thinks. Um, when he's happy, when he's sad, when he's normal, um, you know, and he knows how I am. Um, we respect each other's opinion, and sometimes we don't give a crap about each other's opinion. We we got to do it and get things done. So it's it's a beautiful it's a beautiful journey, man. And I think we're just knocking on the door. I do and too. I mean, oh my God! I think just yeah. knock on the door as well. Go ahead, Josh. I didn't mean to cut you there, but no, I was no, saying no, no, that I'm just, like I yes. Just, <laughs> I just think that we're we're finally getting into um, um, this groove, you know, this type of this uh, life is changing fast, you know, and we're exactly where we want to be, you know. Um, like I say in my other interviews, you know, uh, this is a moment right now where 
This is the buzzer beater, right? This is the who's going to take the last shot. Who wants to walk through the fire? Pick me. Pick us. You know, we're going to do it with our, with a pleasure, hands down. You know, um, where a lot of people try to rush to this position, I think we're, we're right where we need to be. You know, 30 years old, I'm not this old, old guy, but I'm not this young boy anymore, you know. So uh, once we win this world champion, um, back to the, the, the drawing board of, of goals, you know. And how crazy it is that um, in such a fast, short amount of time, um, I'm creating these moments where these are the biggest moments of my life as of today, you know. This is pretty cool. And the fact that my dad's by me, um, you know, just being by my side makes it even that much better. Why wouldn't any fighter want to be an American top team? That was so well said. It's just so awesome. Josh is so articulate. His dad is amazing. It's just great. I'm, I'm honored to be here at American Top Team to come here to interview everybody, especially to do this interview and all. I want to thank Conan. I'm going to do a little more with Josh. We'll have a little more interview with him, and then we'll get everybody out of here. But thank you both so much. It. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. <laughs>